my god. What the fuck is that sound? Ah! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh! Ah! Can you not get me when I'm right here? Ah! No! Fuck! Oh my god! Fifty-six years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains, a group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototan Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. What's up, guys? My name is Buckland, and today we are playing Colette. Uh, apparently, I'm a investigator looking for some lost hikers. Um, in the Kolat Mountain in Russia. I don't know what year this takes place in because this seems to be uh, like 1950s ish, kind of. I don't know. I don't know exactly. But uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's gonna happen. But we're gonna find the fuck out. So without further ado, let's buckle in for the ride. This is beautiful. I must say. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm a vampire. Absolutely gorgeous, dude. This game came out eight years ago, I think. Almost eight years ago, if not before that. That's crazy, dude. This is such a well done. It looks it looks stunning. So yeah, I'm I'm blown oh. So don't sprint for too long or you'll get fatigued. Okie dokie. Duly noted. I don't know where to go. Hopefully I'm going in the right direction. They don't they don't give me any uh, any lead on where to go think they would have me go oh. the music changed Oakley dokely oh boy I'm sure that's good I'm sure going towards the inverted trees is a good thing uh huh whoa wait whoa 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 what what's up that's really neat. Whoa. That's creepy. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light. Huh? The pain ripping apart my body. Yeah. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. Okay. Whatever you say. Hello. What is this? And what do we... Oh, is this the, the campsite they were talking about? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Can I see... Oh, I can see my own footprints? That's fucking sweet. That's fucking sweet. Alright. What are we doing? I am right behind you. Fibber. You're a fibber. You weren't behind me. Hey, they got the Captain Jack Sparrow compass. Nice. Alright. So, what exactly... What exactly is this? Act 2. Okay. Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? Nope. When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, nope. which they can bend to their will. Nope. When they told oh. you that you were a monster, Deserved huh? punishment. Huh? And you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you huh? to rot in the dark. The problem is that in their darkness, you have never been alone. Wow, uh, dude. Look at how. Look at this. Holy fuck, man. Look at this. Look at this. Press F1 for survival info. Running in deep snow is tiring. Adjust the pace to the running conditions. You won't be exhausted your organism. <laughs> so you don't exhaust your organism? What? Before setting off for a long journey, rest in the camp and set a goal for a safe route. You can focus with the right balance, but... Oh, cool. Or any object to take a better look. Lighting your way with a flashlight. You become more visible. Oh, you become more visible. Observe the environment carefully for better navigation with the help of the map and compass. Barely accessible rocky notches may lead to interesting places and shortcuts. To gain access to them, you will sometimes have to squeeze through uh, by crouching, low-lying obstacles, or jump over them. Got it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have no information. Okay. I have no information. So, map. Okay. So, map. I was there. I'm assuming I'm walking towards this stuff. Oh, cool. Okay. What's this? Oh, neat. Okay. So, that is... I'm just going to say that's north. So C up is north. Okay. Got it. Okay. What is that? Interesting. What is that noise? There's something going on in this crater. I don't know if I want to go in there, though. And that rock looks like a face. Oh, boy. Uh, what the hell is that up there? Oh, brother. This is gonna be one of those games, huh? I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. Okay. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. Waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. Okay. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. 
We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set off right away. Okay. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. Mm -hmm. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. Mm -hmm. This was not a place of any average incident. Average. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was yeah. convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling mm -hmm. we were dealing with something unnatural. Something unnatural. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so this is logbook. I set out the moment I heard about okay, it. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. Whoa! Oh! 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 No! Ah! Whoa! What the fuck, dude? What? 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 What the fuck? Hey, yo, what? That's fucking wild. What? Thirty-seven sixty-two. Okay. Oh, so I'm gonna have to. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go to each of these locations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more locations to go. Great. Where's the closest one to me then? For right now. 37 north, 62 east. 62 east. 43 north, 95 east. 43 north, 95 east. Oh wow, that's way the fuck over here. No, I don't think so. 54... 61. So right in this area? It's gonna be in that area, okay. Alright, so I'm at the rocks, okay. I believe my campsite was over here. Okay, how... Okay, so... Those arrows? That's... Oh, no, those are, uh, ski poles. So what else is over here, then? Okay, so I'm here. I got that. So I have to go opposite way into this area. Okay. I have to go this way. Gotcha. Okay, so... Okay, so... There's two kind of passageways here. If I'm looking at it this way, I'll have to take the one on the left. Okay, on the left, got it. This could be a path. Okay, there's one path. Is that the other path? I'm gonna guess so. So I guess I have to go this way? This one, maybe? All right, so I'm going to go this path follow it pretty much until the fork and then make a left follow it and then I'll be there kind of sure okay I played anyone there this shouldn't be that hard I don't know what that is though that's creepy okay, if I find a fork that means I'm on the right track okay this is the fork is this the fork oh fuck That don't sound too good, Chief. I'll tell you that straight up. Got it. Can I walk on this? I sure fucking hope so. Okay. Cool beans. Run across that. Follow the path, sort of. Oh, I hate that. I hate... I hear rustling. I see you. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Uh, mysterious lights above the Svadabni Cosmodrome. Sure. Mysterious mis uh, mysterious <laughs> mysterious mysterious mysteries have caught mysterious mysteries eyes. Mysterious events in the sky were noted during the night of July f 
uh, 4th to 5th of July, witnesses testified they had seen a bright orange sphere which had crossed the sky above the city several times, moving chaotically and immediately changing its directions of flight. Finally, it stopped and disappeared. Major Gierka, an aviation professional, confirms it is impossible for any flying object we know to move like that. The military and Cosmodrome's pers personnel answered our questions in a short and firm way by distancing themselves to the event, informing there was no activity in the area as well as there were no tests performed. Okay, so aliens. Okay, and I get notes. I get notes. Cool. So I'm almost here. I'm almost there. Okay, so I'm almost there. Just gotta keep on following a little bit more. Hopefully there will be some kind of like... Oh my. Is that where I have to go? I sure fucking hope not. I'm gonna guess so. Oh! Well, looks like I gotta find a different way over. Whoops. That's embarrassing. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Maybe I have to go around somewhere? Does it go around? If I keep on going, I'll probably get... Yeah, if I keep on following... If I stay to the left most of the way, I probably could find it. Okay. Let's just keep on trucking, boys and girls. Okay, keep on following. Hello. How are you? Is that a new campsite? Okay. Sure. Hello. How are you doing? You doing okay? Where am I? Where am I at now? Oh, I'm here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. So I missed my thingy. Okay. So if I backtrack... Oh, well. I could just keep on going up this way, probably. I gotcha. I just gotta keep on going up this way, and I'll get there. Sweet. Okay. Gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, so go this way, maybe? Probably? I don't know. Okay, so... Yeah, go this way. Gotcha. Okay. Oh! I love the automatic lights. This is... Wow! Whoa! This guy's going fucking crazy, bro. Golly! Okay. I don't... Oh. Okay. Well... Where's that? I hear rustling. Is it going to be up here, probably? What are those, dude? What the fuck are... Th what is that? What is that? Oh, bro. Is that a tornado? What are those? Where is that rustling coming from? Oh, hello. We discovered the first bodies by the pine trees. A makeshift campfire suggested they tried to warm up. The bodies were only in underwear. I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent, or just the opposite. Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. I have collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed the situation with the rest of the rescue team and afterwards they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees and I entered the forest. Oh, more power to you, bud. Holy fuck. Yeah, I want to know what's going on over there, bro. What is that? That's like directly north of me. Oh, I got a new thingy. Cool. That's like way the fuck over here somewhere. Is it right here? Is that it right here? 7 North 52 East? Yep. That's that one. Okay. Okay, cool. So we got our first outside marker. Sweet. We have a new home we can go to. Sweet. Um, I say let's turn the fuck around and uh, save this really quick. 
I hear that rustling. I hear rustling. Is that it right there? Yes, it is. Hello, how are you? Seversk is a close city in Tomsk Oblast, Russia, located 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles northwest of Tomsk. Uh, huh? On the right bank of the town river and is in the hands of Ross. What? The headquarters of the Russian Research Unit for Natural Phenomena until 1991 called the Soviet Research Unit. The unit's activities concern research on occurring natural disasters in Russia. Huh? Okay, so this is at least after 1991. Gotcha. Okay. Where am I now? I am right here. Okay. Let's turn around. Go back to our campsite for a moment. So we have our campsite. Alright. Now where are we going? Where are we going now? Okay. What about down here? 71 North? Is there 71 North anywhere? Uh, no. Okay. 66 north, 72 east. Let's go here, I guess. Why not, right? 66, 73? 72? Close enough. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, you got it, boss. So this way. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, where we found the marker, pretty much. Okay. So go over that way. Got it. Okay. Follow this all the way down. It's going to be like a weird bend. Yep, this is the word bend. And then keep on following right. So you keep on going and then turn left. Okay. Keep on. Whoa! It got dark. Dark, dark. Oh, fuck the flashlight. 67 north, 70 east. 67 north, 70 east. 67. North 70 East. So I'm right about here. Oh, word. Okay, cool. It helps me out a little bit. That's cool. Why Why is it flickering? What's going on? Okay. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! What the fuck is that, dude? Hello? I'm, I'm, oh fuck, I'm, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What the fuck is that? Yo. Hi. Hi. Do you wanna, do you wanna not? Do that, please? Yo. Alright, so you seem to be right there forever. Alright, so you're there forever, apparently. Um, if I make a run for it, can I just get past you? Uh, let's plan this out a little bit. Because I don't want to get stuck. So go all the way, and then... Alright, so, okay. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to run for it. Catch you later, stinky. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Sure fucking hope so. Oh. Hello. <gasps> oh, hello. Where, where the fuck am I? Is this where I'm supposed to be or no? Oh, fuck, dude. I'm lost, lost. Hey, now. Okay. That's okay. I didn't want to play with you anyways. I hear a rustling. This will tell me where I am, hopefully. I hear it. Where is it? Fuck yeah. We are sitting in room number 23. Although sitting might not be the right Fuck, word dude. because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? 
I'm sure we forgot about something. Yeah. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will we make it? I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully, and it's snowing outside. Oh, so... This is a diary. Damn, dude. So, like, that's heavy, because that means... Oh, fuck, I gotta backtrack a bit. Because that means that they, uh... What is that? That means that this person pretty much just did not know what, what they were getting into. And that's very sad. Because, like, you, you think that you're going to have a fun time with all your friends and shit. When, in reality, that's not the case. You are going to be brutally and mercilessly murdered. Fuck my life. God damn it. <laughs> what was that? What was that fog that was just above me? Did you see that? It's like an orange mist. I don't know if my face cam was blocking it or not. It looked like a like a mist. Okay, so avoid spikes. Got it. Okay. So we need to go wrong way. This way. We have to go this way, right? This way? Yeah, this way. Okay. Don't go in the spikes, please. Kind of stay near the trees, I guess? I don't really know. I'm fatigued. Oh shit. Okay, catch your breath. You're fine. It's okay. Catch your breath. You're fine. Why are you breathing so hard, bro? Can you run, dude? Thank you. Alright. What is up, dog? Um. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, I hear rustling. I hear rustling. It's up there, maybe? Up in the house? I'm assuming? I would assume so. I hear more. More rustling. Where are you? There you are. Up okay. yeah. What do you say? The Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomenon Regarding the Occurrence of Anomaly OH-91. Slash 91, sorry. First incidents took place in 1950 and 1953 in the area of Igarka by the construction of the Transpolar Main Line. The works were halted and the incidents classified. Any witnesses were ordered to be eliminated. Oh boy. On October 17, 1950, according to witness evidence at the same altitude as Camp 503, the west uh, at, to the west of Igarka City, uh, an emanation of unknown force and source occurred and caused instant death of 42 workers. I hear something. I don't know. No, my God. What the fuck is that sound? Ah, fuck. Oh my God. Oh! Ah! Can you not get me when I'm right here? Ah! No! Fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Oh boy! Okay, I think that about wraps up for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more of me. Hit that bell button so you are always up to date on when I post. And um, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Buckland?